OK, then. It's time for Wimbledon. Wimbledon begins on Monday, and so here are my predictions for this year's championships. Last year saw Roger Federer win his record-breaking eighth Wimbledon title, something which no man has done ever before. It was also only the second time in his career that he won a slam without dropping a single set all tournament. This year on the ATP Tour has been very interesting at the top of the rankings. The last year and a half has been dominated by the resurging forces of Roger Federer and Rafael Nadal. This year they have swapped places at the top two spots six times, which is the most amount since about 1999. Currently Rafa is number one, but Roger is confirmed to have the top seeding at Wimbledon. Based on his recent form, Nadal seems unstoppable. His clay court season was super her ending of his 11th French Open title. This form, however, is very rarely replicated on the grass. Despite being a two-time champion at SW19, the latter of those two was eight years ago, and since then he made the final the next year, but since then he has not reached the quarterfinals in any attempt. So this puts into doubt his chances of winning the title, despite incredible success in recent months. Roger Federer is without a doubt the greatest grass court player ever, as well as the greatest of all time, all round. This year has been a successful year, with his 20th Grand Slam victory at the Australian Open. He skipped the whole clay court season for a second year running, which proved successful last year, in order to be ready for the grass. His grass court season on paper has been successful, with a victory in Stuttgart and a runner-up spot in Halle. However, he hasn't quite got up to top form yet, and this did show throughout Halle. However, with a week off to prepare, Federer should be back on top form in time for his first match. Champion at Queen's last week looked in great form in his victory over Novak Djokovic in the final, and he was also runner-up to Federer last year at Wimbledon. If he can replicate this form, then he can definitely go deep into the draw, and I wouldn't be surprised by another final appearance. Plus, he has won a slam back in 2014 at the US Open, so he knows what it takes to win. So, he will be a big threat throughout championships. Tipped by many to be a future world number one, and for good reason. Zverev has won three Masters 1000 titles in the past two years and has been consistently only behind Roger and Rafa in the rankings. However, in the slams he has struggled to replicate its form from the main tour, likely because of a lack of experience in best of five set matches and this can bring a shock to the player and test the endurance of them. However, he recorded his best Grand Slam result at the French this year with a quarter-final appearance so he is going in the right direction, and will win a slam one day, just maybe not this year. Runner-up at the French Open now knows how to get to a slam final, and there is no shame in losing your first final to Rafa. However, he did struggle in that final, and is definitely a clay court player rather than a grass court player. So I wouldn't expect him to be a firm favourite for Wimbledon, but like Zverev, he is definitely one to watch for the future. Djokovic once seemed unstoppable. This time two years ago, he was the holder of all four Grand Slams and was the undisputed at world number one. Things have changed a lot since then, through injury and also a sort of lack of motivation to Piers on his part. And via both of these reasons, he had fallen outside the top 20. However, 
he made his first final in almost a year at Queen's last week, where he lost to Cilic in three tight sets. But at 7-5, 5-4 up, Djokovic had championship points but failed to convert. However, he can definitely take loads of positives from the Queen's, having defeated Dimitrov very convincingly in round two. He is on his way back, but isn't quite the force he once was. Only yesterday, Carl Edmonds said he reckons he is the best forehand on tour and will be a contender for world number one, so he has confidence. He also made an impressive run to the semi-finals at the Australian Open this year and at Queen's and is currently British number... no, quarterfinals at Queen's. But he's currently British number one. If the Brits want a winner this year, he is the best bet. But personally, I don't see it happening just yet. Making his comeback from a year-long injury, this year's Wimbledon will either be his great resurgence or possibly the end. At Queen's, he lost in a bizarre match to Nick Kyrgios in three sets. But at Eastbourne this week, he began with a, with a very strong win over Stan Pafrinka in straight sets. He is coming back, but because of a lack of play, an early loss will see him shoot down the rankings into the depths of the unknown, from where it is very hard to return. He won't win the tournament, in my opinion, but he does seem to be moving a lot better and is definitely on the comeback. Whether he'll get back to the top, I doubt it, but top 50, he could. I know that everyone is cheering him on, but I cannot stand Nick Kyrgios. While his attitude has improved, this year at Queen saw a return to his narky ways, and despite all his showboating that only he knows how, I am really questioning whether he can keep up a good attitude and a good level for seven best of five set matches in a row. Maybe he'll prove me wrong, but I won't be betting anything on him this time. I don't have a lot to say about Chorich, and he would have never crossed my mind as a big contender if it hadn't been for the incredible week he had in Halle. He probably played better than anyone else all week in any event that was going on on the tour. I don't think he'll be able to replicate it at Wimbledon or win the title. But he could surprise us all, and even if he fails for the rest of his career, he is definitely the player of the week from last week. While I feel that this year's event is more open than last year, I do feel that no one really has it in them to challenge Federer for the title, apart from Chorich. All joking aside, if Federer is fit, then he is definitely the favourite. The only players I feel could challenge him are Cilic and Zverev. With Nadal having poor results on grass in the past few years and Djokovic and Murray on the injury comeback, my prediction is that Roger Federer will win his ninth Wimbledon title and his 21st Grand Slam title. But this is just my opinion and feel free to tell me yours down in the comments section below. Let's have a big debate about it. Right then. See you next time.